the shaitan has four main strong points. Listen carefully. This is very important and we will all need this in our daily lives. Number one, the first strong point of the shaitan is this, is quantity. The shaitan doesn't misguide humanity just by himself. When we think about the shaitan, we think there's just one shaitan, Iblis. No, the shaitan has a massive army of minions under him, all working for the same cause to misguide human beings. In fact, there's a hadith where the imam says that when Allah created Adam, Allah told the shaitan that for every human being, listen carefully, for every human being that will be born to Adam, you will also have a new minion, a new shaitan, a new devil to serve with you. That devil will be sent and designated only for that human being as soon as he is born. He has no other job. 24 hours a day, his full-time job is to misguide that human being. So the shaitan has a massive army of billions of shayateen under him. So if we have almost 8 billion people today, that means there, are, there should be at least 8 billion shayateen. This is why he's dangerous. It's not just one shaitan. It's a huge army that all want to just misguide us, want to take us down, and they want us to fail in the test of the dunya. That's why the largest army on this earth isn't the U.S. army, nor the Chinese army, nor the Russian army. It's the army of Iblis, shaitan, with his billions of shayateen under him. Number two, his proximity. One of the strong points of the shaitan is that the shaitan has complete access to me 24 hours a day, undisrupted access, anytime he wants. The most important thing that he sets out to do, he just studies us in the beginning. He studies you, he analyzes you, your behavior, your personality. What are your strong points? So he doesn't attack through the strong points. What are your weak points, right? What are your soft points? Because remember, the shaitan doesn't have a one-size-fits-all tool to misguide humanity. No, for each human being, he uses the proper, the suitable method to misguide that individual. Some people, their weak spot is money. He's going to attack through money. So he studies us. He knows, oh, this person is greedy. He loves money. So his tool against that person will be greed. It could be fame. They'll do anything for fame, right? For a couple of likes. Others, it could be through, for example, girls and women. Other people, power. So the shaitan uses the method that best works against me. This is why the shaitan is so powerful. In fact, brothers and sisters, the shaitan knows more about me than I do. Because many times we don't even evaluate ourselves. We don't do any self-reflecting. The shaitan knows your weak spots much better than you. And then he uses that against you. Number three, the third strong point of the shaitan is that he is completely invisible. Can we see the shaitan, brothers and sisters? Of course not. If you can see the shaitan, Maybe you should see a psychiatrist. That's not normal. We can't see the shaitan, but he can see you. Can you imagine? We're engaged in a war in which we cannot see the enemy, but he can see us. That makes the battle so much more difficult. Allah says in the Holy Quran, إِنَّهُ يَرَاكُمْ هُوَ وَقَبِيلُهُ مَنْ حَيْثُ لَا تَرَوْنَهُمْ Allah says the shaitan and his minions, the other shayateen, they can see you, but you cannot see them. He is invisible to us. That's why when you're in your car, all by yourself singing. Don't think that you're by yourself. The shaitan is sitting right next to you. When you're in the restroom, when you're in your bedroom, when you're in the, in the living room, we are never alone, brothers and sisters. The shaitan will never leave us. This is how he is. The shaitan does pose a risk. He's planning while we don't even know it. Number four, the fourth strong point of the shaitan is what? His weapon. What is the weapon of the shaitan? You see, the shaitan has a very bold and unique weapon. He doesn't use a knife or a gun or, or bombs or missiles. No, 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 no. He doesn't use any of these conventional weapons. The shaitan has a much more bold. He has a bolder weapon than all of those. Why? Because the weapon of the shaitan is such that when he attacks, you can't even detect it. He's in stealth mode. That's very dangerous, brothers and sisters. When a weapon is undetectable until it's too late. This is exactly how the shaitan is. The shaitan, he comes and he starts damaging us, brothers and sisters. He starts attacking us, planning without us knowing. What is the weapon of the shaitan? He doesn't have guns. He doesn't have muscles to overcome you. The shaitan just has one weapon. 
His weapon is whispers. He comes and whispers in your mind, in your ears, in your heart. Don't do that and do this. This is why the shaitan is very dangerous. You think it's your thoughts. He comes and he hijacks your thoughts. You have a train of thoughts, right? He comes and he inserts, he injects one of his insinuations right in the middle of your thoughts. You think it's your thought, but it's not. It's the shaitan hijacking it. He throws an idea in your head. You think it's yours. We have to be careful. Not anything my mind tells me, oh, you know what? Go and turn on the TV. Go and turn on the computer. Go on this website. Send a message. Do this. Watch that. Many of these ideas, it's the shaitan. He's, he's, you know, he's acting as if it's me, but no, it's his insinuations that he's inserting in my mind. 